you guys are a little wet um, after some of you fell into the swamp. Uh, you guys uh, encountered some uh, blue-skinned mitflits. Seem to be pranksters. They they were trying to get you to eat some of their of their waste. Allow me to <laughs> um, to go first. See if I can scout it out a little bit. It's basically the climb. You need an athletic skill. And potentially a mage hand as well. I believe I used that before to offer assistance. Dora has a mage hand. No. And um, it was that was Kara. Yeah. Me. No, I'm mixing up names. Ah, Dora, Kara, um, Roa. And now I want to stealth my way into the room. I gonna do a secret check. Okay. One of these seems to have detected you. Oh. And. Closed. Oh, it has line of oh, sight, sorry. so it sees you. We have to enter initiative. I'm gonna yell down to everybody as I'm running and be like, "They've seen me!" And then just charge this guy. I'm going to spell strike, gouging claw. He's just got his um, his Lyra Yanda, uh, the 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 dog slicer, out and just makes a makes an arcing swing. And as it does, it just you you hear this like lion roar, right? It's like. Oh as he like swings it and almost like this um these like slashing like a claw sl swipe kind of trailing uh -huh. behind it as he swings roll damage okay so now it's damage for the weapon yes. um but then also damage for the cantrip right so there's the weapon right your weapon does three slashing and you do four um extra damage uh from your cantrip uh, I shall attempt to climb with all my might. You have like my climbing tail thingy, so I can have both my hands free, right? Yeah, just do a normal athletics check, and we'll add the two. Hey, eighteen plus two. That's what you needed. As I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna heal you next. Third run, don't die. <laughs> and I'll I'll spend one of my actions. Darn you, action economy. <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll take I'll take I'll take my warhammer out. More like zero action economy, am I right? All right, Sniffly Mifflet uh, has takes out two darts with its first two actions. They have action economy problems. Also, uh, throws a dart at Roa. Do I have partial cover because of the come on with the natural twenty? <laughs> oh, you do have partial cover. <laughs> <laughs> you hear yelling from the room to the left, Kobe. There's a fourth one arriving from the left. There is a uh, fifth midfoot arriving. <laughs> I am too injured. I'm going to die. So I'm just going to run. I shall uh, pull out my amulet and uh, mm -hmm. attempt to uh, exploit their vulnerability, uh, showing them a relic of something they despise. So yeah. I have no idea what they would, but, you know. Yeah. Some, uh, a clean tissue because they look fairly dirty. Okay. Um, All right. You have a personal antithesis to them. Okay, cool. I don't have any more leftover movement, correct? Right. Or is right. that it? All, All right, then. Good. I'll end my turn here. Yeah, no epic splitting turns. up your spread. Zero <laughs> action economy. <laughs> epic, epic action economy. <laughs> turn this one. Is action economy is a myth. <laughs> I, I already know the thumbnail. I, I, the level. thumbnail is that you don't like the three-action economy for the first session. <laughs> I mean, Once this it's... renders... I say, Trud, God of Strength, hear my plea! Grant me the power to hear my allies in your name! I offer the spell of healing! And I'll, I'll cast a heal spell uh, at, at two actions. Come on, baby. Ooh. Hey! Nice! Oh my gosh, that would have oh. like, that would have brought me to full health from dead. Trud, yeah. Trud, Trud. Nice. That right. is a sexy two-action heal. Yeah. Health, yeah. <clears throat> All right, that's what, that's what, some dwarven action right there, friend. What did you um, say the name of your god was? Thrud. <laughs> Take some notes. I'm, I'm converting. <laughs> so Roa's like, mm, I can see this is going to be a bit more of a an encounter than I had originally anticipated. He'll take his um his um sword and just like smack it against his other fist, and it, this like purple like um sort of aura kind of um, encases it when he does, and I'm going to cast Magic Weapon. Mm. For my final action, because that's a two-action spell, I'm going to enter Arcane Cascade. Nice. And now, since Magic Weapon is a transmutation spell, that means the extra damage from uh, Arcane Cascade is something. I don't remember. 
I think it's the same I'll, damage type. I'll look it up. Okay. So I'll just use action exploit vulnerability mm -hmm. against that one. The the grease on your skin is reflecting the light <laughs> like a beautiful beacon across the world. I will uh, then make an attack with a shuriken. Ooh. 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 Okay. Ah, you succeeded. Uh, it has weakness to cold iron and okay. weakness two. So he'll have weakness against this attack. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> you're a thaumaturge, so you have bonus damage plus two because you're wielding your implement. That gets doubled on the crit also. So that's reflected mm. right there. And after you deal damage, then the weakness triggers. So that's 10 damage. Hmm. And it nice. falls to the ground. <laughs> oh, for two ones. As you see me just basically like drop the rope, slide out the door, pull out the shuriken, throw it in between mm -hmm. the eyes. Blood for thread! And I'll <laughs> rush over. <laughs> and uh, that would be my stride action. I grab my war hammer, which is definitely out, Ronald, right? Yes. No, no bullshit this time. And I'll smack <laughs> it right in the stupid. I'll say as I do it, you're clearly a goblin. You can't trick me. And I'll, I'll smack him. All right, it's uh, frightened. You only need to hit a 13. Damage. Ooh. Ooh, 10. That was nice. its health. Nice. It crumbles to the ground. You crunch its head in. You have another action. I do. Nice work. But that's a lie. My last action is not real because I have to raise my shield. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to go forward and try to stab you. 17. Does not hit your 20. Here comes another attempt. Okay, Ooh. natural 20. Well, good that I have my shield block ability. Shield yep. block. That negates all five of the damage. Oh, wow. That critical hit did zero. See, now now, you, now you're you feeling a little bit better about the shield raise thing. Yeah, I, I mean, right? well, I don't know if I feel better, but this works. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to step here, dimensional assault here, and that lets me make a strike as part of that. And since he's flat-footed... Um, I get an extra plus three damage from Arcane Cascade as a Laughing Shadow. Damage. Eight damage. My second attack. Hey! Ooh. I don't even need to roll damage, do I? No, you don't. So yeah, he'll just bamf right behind him and just and cut him in half and then just kind of look at uh, Doragomir uh -huh. and, and give him a wink. This is a surprise. There's a door opening behind the party. And it looks like there's a guy sitting on a throne a makeshift throne on top of a bunch of garbage. And he's yelling at his minions. Don't worry, God, I got you! And then I'll turn out, no, I can't. Ta I'll raise my tax shield. Okay, cool. This Mitflit's gonna try to go around you and flank you. 23 hits, three damage. Do you wanna take it or- No, I, I shield block. Okay, you take zero damage. Nice. How much and does shield block block? Five. Up to the okay. hardness of the shield. Yeah. Oh, oh, actually, I, I meant I'll block this one. <laughs> Spell strike with gouging claw. Total of 15, 15 damage. Yeah, so you just see these, like, these claw, as I slice through, like, it looks like just a single blade, but there's, like, actually three slashes that, like, go through. And, yeah. we, we would see that if we were not in the other room. <laughs> that was really amazing what I just did. A few, I mean. <laughs> Tireless Mitflit is going to go for Dora. Okay, 16. All right, your shield protected you. So that shield has protected you from three hits of damage. Look at the war priest tanking. Yeah. Let's go. This guy is already under the influence of my exploit vulnerability, correct? Your thaumaturge abilities are giving you a net plus four here. So that's okay. seven damage. And it burns in its flesh because of what you put some tissue on it. No! Uh, yeah. You wipe some grease off of it. I. <laughs> Ah! Some bleach. What I'd rather do, I think, is use exploit vulnerability on this guy over here because he seems like he can do big damage. Okay. And uh, I want to protect Dora. So the bad I'm tanking are... for real here. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is going to be five incoming damage. Uh, I'll shield block this one. <laughs> <laughs> I think that shield block blocked like about 20 damage total. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Bite, bite. bite. <laughs> do your thing. And then bite, bite is going to now attack. Three slashing I, damage. I will use my arcane thingy, uh, Amulet's Abeyance. Amulet's Abeyance is going to block how much? Uh, resistance equal two plus your level to the three, I believe, right? So that's oh. zero damage. As I raise my amulet, someone needs to protect the healer. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm going to spell strike. 13 total. Yep, and Boss Skrong, that's this guy's name, he says, No! Who is that? Uh, all right, so I'm flanking, right, the spider now. As I will pull out my blade and eight points of damage. And we're adding two because that's your first line of Boss Skrong sees a spider fall to the ground and says, uh, No! And looks at you with hatred. <laughs> He's going to shoot his blowgun at you. Williamson it does one damage to you, but make a fortitude save. It has spear frog poison. So if I block the entire damage, do I still have to make the con save? You do not. Okay, so I shall do exactly that. As okay, I just you are not damaged. My amulet. Recharge my spell strike and spell strike. Damage. That oh, so much damage. Ten. I, ten I for even, magic weapon alone. Yeah, I haven't even done my. <laughs> Gouging claw, but just for fun. Dear yeah. God. Keeps coming. Oh, God. 17 damage. It gets worse and worse. 19 damage. 19 damage. He's One already blow. dead. <laughs> but it took all three of my actions, so. That's just Tron. He's blessing you. By the way, that would have been a crit if it weren't for Bane. Oh, you guys see is like one blade pass through, but like three like slash marks kind of yeah. hit him and you hear this like tiger noise as he slashes and i'm not good at sound effects but it's like he's putting up his hands and he's uh bowing before you monkey he's just bowing before you he's on the ground like this <laughs> when i was crunching numbers for it uh in my you know for my video uh that i just that i just finished editing um it actually stacked up fairly poorly against the thief rogue and even um compared to the monk to the like the ninja that i called it the maga scales but um even though that the, their their attacks and then especially like their spells the cantrips and things do scale in damage they were falling behind i think due largely to the fact that I'm really only getting one attack off in a turn if I'm recharging my spell strike. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't know. It's uh, it, but, but you know, and all that said, like I still can cast spells, so I could throw out a fireball at level five if I needed to, or you know, do some cool control utility type stuff that you know those other characters couldn't do. So anyway, it's just been interesting. But yeah, at level one, it feels like a powerhouse <laughs> I, I do think magic yeah. weapon is like straight up broken yes at this level <laughs> and, and, and that's part I, of it too i use my my one first level spell right and i only have one yeah, of them I, I have two of them so i i do have magic weapon prepared twice i haven't used it but like i just imagine <laughs> if i had magic weapon and i attack twice and i hit twice I, it would just be insane. Anyway, In the abstract, so... I would say, um, I think the designers would say, yeah, magic weapon is very powerful at level one. Yeah, but no one complains about it uh, because uh, uh, low-level low characters can use some help. And yeah. this party has not yet faced... Maybe, yeah, Kobe and Luke have, but you haven't seen a higher-level enemy yet. They're nasty. Yeah. Yeah, we, we almost we almost got... We, we almost TPK'd on a single uh, ooze. It almost just <laughs> totally wrecked our whole party. It had like three of us like stunned. Magus DPR, a couple of things. One, you do get to fire off two effects at your full, without multiple attack penalties. So there's going to be some right. advantage to that in some situations, especially mm -hmm. against a very, I imagine against a very high AC. High AC, yeah. And then the other thing, you're going to start getting more of these comments, Kobe, is um, the there's just advantage to spell casting that's inherent to spell casting. You get to do different damage types. Your arcane right. cascade lets you. It's it only sounds. It, it's weakness. only one point of damage, but yeah. yeah, if they have a weakness, mm -hmm. even if you do only one point of damage, you trigger the the full weakness. Full damage. weakness, yeah. Yeah, so it's yeah, a horizontal kind of... horizontal growth. <laughs> I kind of tried to to account for that. Like when I'm taking cantrips, it's like, okay, let's take like a fire cantrip, a cold damage cantrip, an acid cantrip. Yeah, me too. That's why I took a, a pointy stick, a, a slashy stick. I do want to get some wrap up thoughts before those folks need to leave. What do people think from today? Any thoughts on Pathfinder today's session? Yeah, uh, same as before. I'm loving the combat mm -hmm. so far. I think it's 
solid uh the three action economy just how uh it is i can definitely see that the uh the players who've specced into martial based abilities are definitely benefiting from that uh which is really great i'm not uh upset about that in the slightest even if me saying that makes it sound like i am no i'm very glad pathfinder plays this as, way. as tears are flowing down from his eyes i am not upset about it <laughs> I'm, I'm having I think fun. it's I'm definitely fun cool. Uh, I'm helping out as I can, uh, not stressing too much about the ability, just trying to make sure I'm not uh, breaking things. But ultimately, it's not as difficult as I think a lot of people would make it out to be, and I've been enjoying myself so far. Yeah. Okay. Others? Yeah, um, I, I just, well, by the time this comes out, I probably will have recently released my own Magus build, right? And... Um, it plays like I kind of thought it would. Like it feels really strong, at least it's at level one. Um, that spell strike is super potent. It can definitely get frustrating, like action economy wise, because it takes an action to charge it and then two actions to use it. So it's like I can't move and recharge my spell strike and spell strike every single turn. Yeah, it's um, like the class that needs its actions the most yeah which is which is i think the main draw for taking the subclass that i did um the laughing shadow because that can teleport and recharge mm -hmm. your spell strike but um you can only use it it's it's a focus point i only have one focus point right so you can only use it once per combat at best for now anyway um i think that once i get access to the haste spell which comes at fifth level so I don't know if we'll ever get there with this campaign. I, but, um, I get it too, so that'll be... Yeah, that'll be, that'll be big because that'll give you one extra action that can be used to stride or strike. So then I could stride, recharge my spell strike, and spell strike every turn. Um, mm -hmm. And and then that, that I think will feel a lot better. But still, I mean, I hit like a truck. You did it. So yeah. that was cool. You <laughs> slaughtered them. I, I do think that like... The 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 taking items out of bags, I think it's kind of goofy though. With like taking a full action, I think there should be like a free action option for just like at least being able to take like one item out or something. Yeah, I wish you'd um, get like a free manipulate action. Yeah, call it you know or something. That feels like it should be there. The other one was um j jumping and and striding because they're not the same thing. You have to stride right. to where you want to jump, and then you have to do another to jump. Striding uh, and climbing. I mean, how often though? I mean, I think I would say that these are some pretty unusual situations where you had to change what was in your hands. That doesn't. That's the other thing too, lot. because like if you're gonna do climbing, right? So imagine yeah. the scenario. Like, okay, so I have my shield and my weapon. Action to put it one out. Action to put the other. Action to stride. Action to jump and grab. I I'm memeing a lot on the shield. I think it's growing up on me. Like just doing the the the, the pulling the shield it up. Tanked so it much damage. Yeah. Damage. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the shield block is like you, amazing, and I'm building for it you, too. So honestly, that's that's what made these fights handleable. Yeah, you yeah. you soaked. Think about it, and the yeah, you soaked so much. And I was gonna say, in the, the heal is like crazy. Yeah, yeah, healing, that's, like that's, in that's, combat that's, healing feels so good. That's points, what I was gonna say. Like I only have a fourteen yeah. max on a heal. Like even mm -hmm. my thing, which in D and D would be fairly weak, which is like battle medicine. Like in D and D, you can use like a charge of a healer's kit to heal a bit. Here, like it was like a ten hit points, I think, healing minimum or something. And yeah. it scales so yeah. good. Well, like, it's not it's like a, in D and D where like first level is really strong and then it weans out, and here it just keeps on. It's like I, I plus think, eight. Per I think that's a good thing because because going down to zero hit points is a lot more punishing yeah. in yeah. Pathfinder than it is in D and D. So that. in D and D, you wait for somebody to drop to zero and you pop a first level healing word on them as a bonus action and just and you're just ping ponging yeah. them up and down. You know what I mean? And, and this feels a little more consequential, which I like. Yeah, yeah I agree. I, I, I really like this the a lot more. Like the the, the yeah. healing yeah. felt really nice, I agree. And the thaumaturge felt fun like uh, to play because I was doing a bit of everything. Like I was doing decent damage, not Colby levels of damage, but it was still pretty decent. Uh... <laughs> Kobe damage. Yeah. There's a, <laughs> a slogan. Yeah, I, I did manage to do some tanking as well uh which which felt nice like the whole reaction to block yeah. and i managed to insult my enemies which is always a nice bonus so <laughs> do you plan to take the bon muffy at some point the bon muffy what's that you don't know about it <laughs> <laughs> look it up bon mo 
It's a feed. Bo- you need bon to. Mot. Is that like a French word, like bon mot, like good word? Yeah. I, I have to read it out. I have to read it out. It's fun. Um, it's a diplomacy skill feat, so you can get it at second level. You have to be trained in diplomacy. One action. You launch an insightful quip at a foe, distracting them. So they have to be within 30 okay. feet. You do a diplomacy check against their DC. If you critically succeed, the target is distracted and takes a minus three status penalty to perception and will saves for one minute. Wow. The target can end the effect early with a retort to your bomb. <laughs> it's just insulting each other. This can either be a single action, yeah, that has the concentrate trait or an appropriate skill action to frame their retort. The GM determines what's appropriate. Typically, it needs to be linguistic. Okay. Um, if you succeed, it's at minus two. So it's a nice setup for something that attacks their will save or perception. For, for Kara, this is a nice setup yeah, for Kara. Yeah, it sounds, sounds yeah. fun to do. Uh, and I like that the feat uh, is in French and just means a good word. So uh, as a French person mm. myself, I might be interested in taking it simply for the name. <laughs> <laughs> no other reason. Yeah. <laughs> If you critically fail, your quip is atrocious. You take the same penalty and... <laughs> it's like succeed. the shame from <laughs> the bad insult. <laughs> oh, how could I say this? <laughs> yep. And this ends after one minute, or if you issue another bon mot and succeed. Okay. Yeah. Do we get a level? <laughs> no, no. And you did earn two. You did earn 280 XP today. Nice. All right. As always, you can reach me on the Discord. Good night, Evan. And we will uh, <laughs> we will see each other next yes, week. Sir.